So Geekum PC, if I'm saying that name right, and I guess that's maybe correct, but they sent me a cool little nook. I thought it would be a good opportunity to jump into that whole Docker Compose thing. And well, let's take a look at it and see what kind of hardware is in that thing. So we're looking at a little nook looking mini PC. There's not a whole lot to the box itself other than, well, the model and what processor. Yeah, so it's the i5-8259U with DDR4 8 gig. Kind of on the small side. I'd prefer more 16 and a 256 gig SSD. So uh, accessories in here, there's not a whole lot to it. There's the book we probably won't read. There's some screws and a panel. I think this is for if you're gonna wall mount it or something like behind a TV. Nothing else really in here. So it won't bore you with the box. So the little nook and the power supply. Let's look at the specs. We're looking at 19 volt. 4.74 amps output and 90 watt. Uh, oh, look, it is UL listed. Check that out. So the unit itself, pretty small size. I mean, hmm, hopefully there's something to do with size relation from a SD card. And if you're around the channel, you know the little ESP. Well, this is the junk little module we took off and an ESP32 for size so it's a decent little size is rather small USB-C it's super speed 3.0 or 3 point something your headphone and the power and you got it's for cooling and I guess that's a little Kingston lock little deal you can put on there and ports on the back the power supply, I think it's mini display port, Ethernet, two more USB, US, another USB-C, and HDMI. So I think it can do two screens at once, maybe? We'll see. And then the full-size SD card. Hmm, okay. So that should fit like so. Interesting to see an SD card on a thing these days. Except for like full-size cameras and stuff that have them. So let's look inside this thing I'm curious to see if I could potentially use this as a good little Linux setup with say home assistant and several different docker containers and maybe do some frigate stuff if there's a spot for coral and No, it's coral not coral. So of course Geekum did send this to me for Review, but of course we try to keep things unbiased and no funds were exchanged Okay, let's see if we can take this bad boy apart. All right. Okay, so it's attached Oh interesting So interesting there's a spot like for a Laptop style hard drive. Maybe you could put in there. Let me see something a full it should fit for hmm, okay it kind of goes in toolless so you could put a bigger hard drive in it or something if you wanted to that's a cool thing Kingston which is interesting to see them use a name brand Kingston memory so there's a slot to add add more memory good deal 256 gig Kingston SSD. Hmm. And it looks like this is going to be the heat sink for the processor and stuff. So this is where all the magic happens that we can upgrade. Yeah, I don't see another slot there. It's only going to be one slot. I'm trying to see what Intel Wi Fi chip this is. I don't know if we can see. Yeah, 9560D2W. Hmm, I'll have to look that up. So it's got diversity. Not a whole lot to do. There is another jack here. 
it says front panel so no I guess if you really wanted to I guess we could put the coral that does this type of plug here and then you could put an SSD in the top panel so I guess that's doable well we're gonna fire this up it does say it comes with Windows 11 but I do not like to use even on Dell or whoever it may be I'm just not gonna use their Windows or builds of whatever they put on their devices I'm putting my own build because I don't know who touched it before me so I'll put my own build of stuff on there and that way I know it's a clean install so if you got any ideas what we should throw on here maybe we'll just do a clean like docker install and do the thing with just running our own docker containers let me know down in the comments down below what you would like to see done with this thing so after the recording of the hands-on stuff and digging into it i did put docker compose on it i followed a little guide because i want to consolidate some things with my ADSB and I've been doing some ADSB which is actually doing the tracking of airplane beacons and no it's not in a bad way or anything go google a bunch of stuff if you don't freak out I do have it in testing on there and just the antenna I maybe do some additional stuff of how I do and track things and it's all the cool stuff I really always liked aviation and I did also actually put the Plex container on it. Just I wanted to test out doing some GPU offloading since I don't have that on my Unraid box. And does work pretty good. I did run some stuff through it and do some 4K decoding and whatnot and push it through. And it keeps that CPU usage way down. So eventually, maybe I'll push over Home Assistant to it as well and do some things with it it's a cool little nook and gets me into doing that docker compose thing and yeah that's just all with no supervisor because this this is the supervisor right here i get to do all the cool stuff so if there's other different cool projects and docker container things we may want to do with it shoot me a comment down below and maybe we'll add that in to the future video for checking out and doing some cool docker compose stuff and i'll share along we'll do some stuff with the 80 bit adsb stuff which you could do with a raspberry pi as well it doesn't take a whole lot of processing power but hey why not i'll do adsb and do some plex offloading this thing was absolutely perfect for that so i do appreciate you watching smash that subscribe bell icon do all the things whatever it may be you can downvote do it at all and well click all those buttons and y'all take care what is it again um press all the buttons and y'all take care you're chilling bro hey bro you're chilling